YouTube. I'm going to show you a quick pattern today. We're going to make dishcloth. And I have lots of leftover of um, my cotton yarn here. And I wanted to make a dishcloth with... Okay, excuse my pit bull. He's a bit spoiled. Okay, so we're going to make a simple dishcloth today and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using a G hook, a four... 4.25 of course some scissors and some cotton yarn I actually was able to get this deal of cotton yarn from the Dollar Tree earlier this year okay let's go ahead and get started what you want to do first is a slip knot and to do that you're going to make a loop and have the tail under the loop, grab your hook, and grab the loop. Grab the tail, hold on to the two strands, and that is how you form a slip knot. Okay, I'm gonna make this as easy as possible. We're going to chain uh, up to, I would say like five inches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Let's see if that's about five inches. Let's do one more or oh, a couple more. So I have about seventeen chain, which is about five inches. And now I'm going to um, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And in the next one, single crochet. And we're going to keep doing that until we get to the end of our chain links. Unravel some of my yarn here. And I actually prefer to use these than the store bought um, dishcloth because these actually last me a lot longer. And I actually use the same pattern for um, a hand towel also. So the next row, so we finish the chain 17 and then we single crochet in each stitch. So the next row, we're going to chain two, turn our work, and we're going to do, um, half double crochet in the next stitch. And in the next one, we're gonna keep doing half double crochet until we get into the end of this row. Okay, now we're going to repeat this row until we have a square. So chain two again, turn your work, and we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. One. So we're going to keep doing that, and we're going to keep repeating this row until we have a square. Um, of five inches so I'll be right back okay I have my five inch square dishcloth here as you can see five inch there and five inch there um 
Now to complete it, I'm just going to create a row of single crochet around my square. To do that, I'm just going to chain one, um, turn my work. Okay, so I've chained one and I'm going to start to decide actually going to do a row of single crochet all around like that. So. I'm just inserting a single crochet for each row of the half double crochet. Now, when you get to the corner, I usually do three double crochet, I mean, three single crochet on that corner. There you go. And continue to single crochet. This makes an awesome gift. Okay, I'm on the corner again. So just insert three single crochet in that corner. Okay. I think adding this border of single crochet just really gives it a, a complete finish. Okay, I'm in the, the third corner here. Again, three single crochet. And continue my last row here. Okay, we are not complete, not just yet. Now what we're going to do is add a loop so we can have, um, so we can hang it to dry when your disc cloth is wet. So we're going to do a chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we're going to single crochet on that same stitch, well, slip stitch. Going to slip stitch on that same stitch. And slip, slip stitch in the next stitch, and you're all done. Turn your work. Now we're going to pull this yarn through the loop one last time. We're going to pull it all the way through. And as I've said many times, that helps to prevent from your, your yarn from unraveling. Going to take my blunt needle here. 
thread in my end and I'm just going to weave it in in that single crochet row and then go back skip this and go back that is how you secure your yarn one last time okay trim the remaining and you're all done and there is your handmade disc cloth Thank you for watching Handmade by Hania. Hopefully you love the tutorial and the pattern. If so, thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.